Welcome. In this video, we're going to have an overview on workspaces. After signing up with an account, we can create our first workspace. We can give our name and the members that we want to invite right on. And we just set up our first workspace. Your Wiscom account allows you to set up workspaces where you can manage your work and collaborate with the rest of your team in editing files. In the settings and members tab, you can set a logo and name of your workspace. With your account, you can create or join other workspaces that are completely separate from each other, so members belonging to one workspace won't be able to see other workspaces. Each workspace is coming with its own My Drafts section, where you can work alone, and a team that is containing all the workspace members, where you can share files and collaborate with each other. Now, for sharing a file, click on the three dots and make sure it's moved under the right place. Note that it will be removed from your My Drafts page and will be available for others to either see or edit according to their role that you can check on in the Settings and Members tab. You can invite new members to your workspace by their email addresses. After that, you can set the role of the invited members. There can be viewers with view-only access, editors with the actual creating and editing capabilities, and admins with extended overview, control and managing power over the workspace. And the workspace's subscription plan is going to determine how many of these editors or admin roles you can assign. If you have any questions regarding this topic, feel free to reach out to us anytime.